For decades, the effects of solar storms have captivated public attention. Tonight, high energy charged particles are bombarding the Earth. From their potential to cause radio blackouts to a more welcome sight filling skies. It all starts with a storm on the sun's surface. This illustration by NASA shows that during a solar storm, the sun can eject a burst of electrified gas toward us. It sends particles and energy into our magnetic field. Particles bounce and bump into gases, causing displays of light into the sky. The stronger the storm, the more it pushes the aurora away from the magnetic poles farther south to where we live. When that happens and skies are clear, Washington can get a chance to see auroras or northern lights. The farther north you are, the closer you are to the magnetic pole, the more likely you are to see it. For Alaska is very close to the magnetic pole. That's why they see aurora all the time. So far, this storm's effects aren't forecasted to send strong visuals to Washington, but scientists say more auroras could be coming our way soon. So there's an 11 year solar cycle where we go from solar minimum, where there's not very many storms, to solar maximum, where there's a lot of storms. And right now, we're expecting a solar maximum in 2025. As for this week, a map by NOAA and the National Weather Service shows its range staying far to the north, though some scientists aren't ruling out the chance of Pacific Northwest sightings. Erica Zucco, King 5 News.